so much more to this Rich Lands Art Studio. We want to offer a, a nice, safe, secure, enjoyable place for people to come spend some time. The Borrowed Artist is the brainchild of artist Malia Torres. Here you can get lessons. It's time for local stories from across the East. Local food. Local fashion. Local businesses. This is your home for local. This is the East's Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW. Hello and welcome to the East Daily Download. My name is Mark. I'll be your tour guide on this adventure across the East. Joined today by our friend Lauren and our other friend Bryce. And behind the cameras, Anissa, you'll see her a little bit later. So we are on location. We decided to get out of the building, get out of Greenville, and we are in... Chocolinity. What she said, Chocolinity at... Extreme Action Park. We're going to be spending this week here doing a little bit of go-karting, roller skating, arcading. Is arcading a word? I don't know. It is now. So we're going to be doing all those things, having fun, showcasing what this great facility has to offer and get you out of the house, get you out interacting, coming out here, having a good time as a family with your friends, whatever. We got parties, setups, we got all kinds of stuff. So uh, why don't you check the story out and we will rejoin you in a little bit inside. Now downloading People and Places. It looks like a regular storefront on the outside, but there's so much more to this Rich Lands Art Studio. We want to offer a, a nice, safe, secure, enjoyable place for people to come spend some time. The Borrowed Artist is the brainchild of artist Malia Torres. Here you can get lessons from her or schedule a paint party with more than a dozen of your friends. But for Torres, this space is about so much more. I was working on Camp Lejeune for the last six years, and as an artist, I came to meet a lot of my Marines that I dealt with that were um, interested in art and had some PTSD issues. Artwork in a structured environment can be very uh, self-esteem building. It helps them learn to project their feelings onto the paper. And whether it's Marines or civilians who come in, Malia wants them to enjoy being creative. They will learn anything from pen and ink to pencil sketching to charcoals, painting, uh, down to some technical things as well. And they'll learn how to apply that to help their emotional needs. The space also features some of Malia's works for sale as well as painted furniture. I think it's a dream come true for her. She has been a dreamer all her life, and now it's coming to fruition to have her own place to express herself and help others. And that's what's at the heart of the borrowed artist, helping others, especially military members and their families. My whole family's military, all my, my nieces and nephews and my father and my husband were all in the service, and they all paid the price. And so they never had anything available to them like this. So it's fabulous. In the local areas, we don't have a lot of arts and culture available for not just our, our military, but our rural communities. And it's very important. Um, it's very rewarding when I was working on base, helping the Marines and, and working with the Marines, and to see the need that they had to find an outlet for the stressors of military life. And that became a very uh, good way for them to heal on the inside is by creating on the outside. Now downloading Meltivational Monday. I wanted a space that felt warm, inviting, surprising. It could be inside of a barn somewhere where a group of women and men are getting together and we're talking about life. The Mel Robbins Show is not a show, it's an experience. This show is active. 
And so we thought meticulously about the set design itself so that I can move all over the place. Okay, I'm sneaking back here for all of my arts and crafts. <laughs> I did not want the set to feel very urban and city, because this is a show about real people. I'm out to ignite change. Welcome back to the East Daily Download. Hey, we are in Chakawinity on location, Extreme Action Park, and uh, we've come to the check-in window. I'm gonna let Lauren do all the talking. I'm just gonna stand out here the way here. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So we are here. We do have a birthday, so we'll be happy so, birthday. I mean, it's not today. Okay. It's not today. It's in. It's in a. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Okay. Gonna get there. Well, welcome to Extreme Action Park. Are we going to be skating or go-karting or what kind of activities are Ooh, we doing today? Both, please. All right, that's great. So how do we get started? What's the usual? Well, at this counter, you'll purchase your skating um, admission and skate rental if you need that. Um, we also can help you with the go-kart tickets here. Okay. okay, perfect. All right, well, everybody, we're going to get set up with all of our tickets and everything. Take a look at this story. We'll be right back. So Denise, this interview might be my favorite setup we've ever had for an interview because we're on the floor of a roller rink. Mm -hmm. Now, we're in Chakawinity Extreme Action Park. You, your brother, and your mother mm -hmm. are all co-owners of this That's place. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And so does that mean that you're here every Friday or Saturday or, you know, the busy times? Yes. I am here Friday, Saturday, and most Sundays, and Tuesdays, because we are open Tuesday nights also. What does is, what is the population look like who come here and skate? Um, it varies. Yeah. We've got the little ones that come skate all the way up to the older ones. Um, a lot of families, okay. um, a lot of tweens, which <laughs> is not teenagers and not really so like young. 11, yeah. 12, somewhere in there. How long have you guys owned this place? Uh, almost 15 years now. Almost 15. Mm -hmm. And what what kind of things have evolved or changed during that time? Um, since we have taken over the skating rink, um, we've also added go-karts. We've added additional party rooms, um, enlarged the snack bar area, and added a bounce house. So we've been busy. So I'm guessing during the summertime is the primary season for the go-karts? You would think so, but our go-karts are year-round. Oh, really? So, the so, and our busy skating time is this time of year. Okay. So, our go-karts are actually busier this time of year versus the summer. What? <laughs> what, what, what why do you think that is? Because more people are here skating in the winter time, and in the afternoons, if the weather's nice, they can go do the go-karts also. So, so, how many uh, at any one time would you say uh, during peak time with the go karts? Mm -hmm. How many car go karts are out on the track? You can see at least eight running at a time. And, mm. and you said that can get a little competitive with oh, people. Oh, very competitive. <laughs> they love it. Yeah. D do you and your brother and your mom go out there and do some races to <laughs> no, to no. settle to settle differences <laughs> on how to run the business? But that's a good idea. I Whoever like that wins, idea. that's the way it's going to be. hood, pants, coat, boots, and helmet, you're looking at 32, somewhere around $3,200. Maintaining equipment like breathing apparatuses is pricey for fire departments. Four extra refill bottles was around $28,000. Those high costs led Lyman volunteer firefighters to push for a fire tax for their district. The tax money will help purchase new gear and as a result lower fire department's insurance ratings. It drops homeowners insurance by almost half. 
Lyman's Fire District passed the tax with 76.5% of the vote. The measure in the Tichy Fire District got 76.6% of the vote. The next 20 years or so, I mean, that's just, that's just big. Assistant Fire Chief Ronnie Page says new equipment is crucial to serving the community. If it's still good, if it's out of date, it's out of date. Um, you, still, you still have to new equipment. Tax funding will allow firefighters to focus on training time instead of fundraising time. We don't have to worry about where, where we're going to get this piece of equipment or how we're going to get this truck fixed. Um, we have it in our budget now. So here's the breakdown. If a home is valued at $100,000, the new fee will add $50 to the property tax bill. The amount can vary by area, but firefighters are confident this is a step forward for Duplin County. Everybody support everybody and I think we'll go places. So whose show is this anyway? <laughs> We beat the bullies. Can I be a part of your family? Yeah. Do you like chocolate? Yeah, I mean, like, takes care of your soul. And, and your butt if you want to grow. <laughs> Stop shoveling snow and watch Kelly Clark. <laughs>
The movie follows the treacherous journey of a convoy of Allied ships as they cross the Atlantic, pursued by Nazi submarines. The film, written by Hanks, was inspired by true events. Greyhound arrives in theaters in May. That's your Eye on Entertainment. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. Since Eastern North Carolina does experience such a wide variety of temperatures, from an agricultural standpoint especially, we really have to monitor overnight low temperatures as we go into March and April. 46 in Roanoke Rapids, a little warmer over here in Hatteras, because even though we think of the weather warming up on average, there are still times when we can drop down close to, if not below the freezing mark in March and even in April too. So we always monitor for any freeze warnings that might be issued and always make sure we push that information out when viewers need to know it. Now downloading Medical Minute. One of the things that we need to keep in mind that many seniors already have high levels of anxiety and fear. Fear of death, fear of falling, and now. When we add in another fear level, such as coronavirus, it adds to their anxieties. Fear of COVID-19. For those folks that are over the age of 60, uh, or who have underlying medical problems, the, the infection may produce more severe illness in those folks. There's cause for concern when it comes to the elderly and COVID-19. Yes, as we, as we age, our, our immune system gradually loses some of its um, ability to fight infections. Pitt County's Council on Aging has a simple message, stay calm. Again, we're trying to ease the fears. Help protect others. If you don't feel well, don't come here. Stay home, and if it's been 24 hours before you have any symptoms, uh, then it's okay to come back. And practice healthy habits, like thoroughly washing your hands. We already have healthy, sanitary practices in place, and so there's really not a lot of um, changes to our protocols. Leaders say, for now, they're offering hand sanitizer and perspective. A lot of seniors trust in us. Um, seniors are very susceptible to scams, people giving them misinformation, so we need to be very accurate, uh, very detailed in what we're providing our seniors. It can be difficult to say goodbye when a local business closes for good. I put all my heart and soul in this place, but at the end of the day, we just could not keep up with the bigger chains. Hannah Hackett managed Buzz Coffee for four years. She bought the shop back last April. Our biggest demographic was our students, and um, that's what I loved about this place. But, you know, when summer hit, they left. When Christmas hit, they left. And that really just set us behind, and we got in a hole that we couldn't climb out of. Students are sad to see them go. Well, it's cheaper than Starbucks, so it was always just a little bit easier to go there, especially if you're on a budget and people would go there just to do homework and just hang out for a little bit. Buzz Coffee isn't the only business leaving the scene. Campus Calzones served the Greenville area for close to eight years. I really enjoyed their food. Their cinnamon uh, sticks were very good um, and all their calzones were really good. It's just a sad day overall for ECU. I really loved Cap Campus Calzones. It was super cheap. They delivered till 3 a.m. It was really, really good food too, so I'm really sad that they're closing. Students aren't the only ones bummed. As a business owner, it's worrying because I know how competitive that market is and it's always nice if you can keep it local and keep everybody kind of involved. What are online originals? Local stories. A grant is allowing Duplin County to continue helping senior citizens. Local documentaries. Here today at the Ronald McDonald House of Eastern North Carolina. They've just finished their expansion. Special features. I certainly need some help with my skills on archery. Behind the scenes. From tap rooms, to retail, to fitness. Everything you need at your fingertips. WNCT.com online originals. Now in your side morning edition is here with all the news impacting you from across the east and around the world. Whether you start your morning at 430 or 630, start it off right with not on your side morning edition. Watch on air, online or on our mobile app weekdays from 430 to 7. Now downloading Southern Stars.
Hey, Ashley, we're in Winterville. Tell us about today's Southern Star. We're going to be meeting Dr. Satori Baldwin. Uh, she's very integral in our Pitt County um, animal shelter here. Um, helps with the adoption of the animals and also helped implement a program where students can help take the dogs on the walk. Well, that sounds great. Well, let's go meet Melanie. And we are thrilled today to come and to honor you. You are a Southern Star in the Greenville area in Eastern North Carolina with oh all of your initiatives. I think she has her claim to fame for her uh, fitness walking class that she started at East Carolina University yes. for East Carolina students. Then she has also created a volunteer organization called Much Strutters. Mm. And we come out like that. and yeah, and we uh, walk the dogs as Melanie has taught us, walking the dogs and having them have lots of interaction helps them get adopted. Animals are not used and it's not natural behavior to be confined 24 seven. Correct. So getting out and getting that mental and emotional and physical exercise is crucial to their well-being and breaking down. We could not care for these animals and try to get them out the door um, with a positive outcome without our volunteer programs. I'm just one part of a much bigger picture, um, but to be part of that means everything to me. On behalf of Southern Bank, we just want to say thank you for everything you do for our community and for the animals in Pitt County. So we have a nice little mug oh, for you, you and a $100 gift card. Oh, wow, thank you so much. <laughs> Wonderful. And if you know someone in your community making it a brighter place, make your nomination. Go to WNCT.com slash stars. East Daily Download is all about local businesses. If you're interested in having your local business showcased, contact Joel Bullard at 252-355-8520 or jbullard at wnct.com. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the East Daily Download. On location, Chocowinity Extreme Action Park. And we're about to get extreme by getting in these go-karts. Bryce and I are going to have a friendly little competition. Is that right? Oh, it's Is it? You gonna you gonna win? We'll see. We'll see. She's being modest. She's talked a lot of trash before now. Now the camera's rolling. She's brought it way down. Uh, you don't want to have that on record, do you? Uh, hey, quick reminder before we let you go. Don't forget to get the mobile app, WNCT mobile app, Google Play in the App Store. You can download it. You can watch on the go. However, do not watch it while driving a go kart. That's a bad idea. So uh, with all that said and done. We're going to go do this, and we'll see you tomorrow in the next edition of the East Daily Download. When we hit the road for the next edition of the East Daily Download, we take a look at an anti-bullying rally that was held in Winterville. Entertainment Tonight takes us behind the scenes with Tom Holland and Chris Pratt to discuss their new movie, Onward. We have part two of our interview with Extreme Action Park, and we have a special edition of Down East. We'll see you on the next edition of the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina, CW.